Hi folks, um, another one of the questions we received on our Instagram page was from somebody who wants to buy a work of art for a friend who is turning 60. Now they haven't given us any more information than that so we don't know what kind of work they like apart from the fact that they've said that it's this particular person likes landscapes. So we don't know whether they're 18th century, 19th century, 20th century, whether it's sort of abstract landscape or representational landscape. So anyway, um, I went through the catalogue for our upcoming important Irish art sale, which is, as we've said before, uh, was postponed from the 25th of March and will happen quite soon, I think, certainly before the summer. Uh, we hope anyway. So I've selected um, five or six works which um, I think are a good representation of uh, interesting Irish landscape painting. Um, the first one is quite representational. It's a work by Morris Wilkes who was a very well regarded Northern Ireland painter uh, born in 1910, died in 1984. Uh, and this is lot number five in our sale, as I said, and it's um, it's a view near Letter Frack in County Galway in Connemara. Um, and it's a very traditional view. There's thatched cottages, uh, there's nice blue mountains, uh, there's lovely uh, cloudscape and there's a view of a little bay. Um, but what's particularly nice about this picture is that it's got the figures here who are building the turf reeks, uh, which again gives it that nice, um, you know, relatable feel um, that, you know, you almost feel as that if it's a, it's, a, it's a normal everyday scene in uh, the West of Ireland. Um, this particular picture um, is probably from around the sort of the 1960s, or early 70s. And it has an estimate of two to three thousand, so quite good value. Um, so the next one that caught my eye, again, it's sort of a nice um, um, alternative to uh, the previous picture, and it's by William Percy French. Um, Percy French painted almost exclusively in watercolors. Uh, this is called Cottage in Connemara. It's uh, quite a small work. Most of his pictures were usually uh, maybe just marginally bigger than postcard size uh, and this is six and three quarter inches by nine and a half inches um, and what's nice about it is that it's got this um, little cottage and a little outhouse uh, on the banks or on the, the edge of a, uh, a bog lake um, but there's lovely colors as you can see there in the um, the, the gorse and the heather um, and again, I suppose what, what um, people particularly like about Percy French is that he captures an atmosphere. Um, and I think he does that particularly well in this particular example. Um, the estimate on that one is 1,500 to 2,500. Percy French's works sell very well all the time. And, um, uh, you know, this, this is a pretty good, um, fairly straightforward example. Um, now we're ratcheting, ratcheting it up a little bit with this particular work um, and again we didn't have um, an indication of what the budget was um, but I suppose if it was your father who was turning 60 and you had enough money you might want to buy him a Paul Henry. Um, so this is number 15 and it's one of three Paul Henrys that we have in the sale, um, the, in the forthcoming sale and it's called Connemara Landscape and of course um, Paul Henry is um, synonymous with the um, painting of landscapes in the west of Ireland. He spent an, an important um, seven or eight years in Ackle where he developed a love for the western landscape. And this is a classic example. It's got these wonderful cumulus uh, billowing clouds, the blue mountains, a couple of cottages and the turf reeks and the uh, reflection of the uh, sky in the water in the foreground. Um, it's a small work, uh, it's only 10 by 14 inches, so it's quite a small small picture um, by Paul Henry's terms. And the estimate reflects that, it's an estimate of 30 to 50,000, but it's an absolute classic work by, by Henry. Um, now, sort of coming back down to uh, sort of more affordable work, but one that is 
in my opinion, a really interesting picture. And it's by T.P. Flanagan. And it's called View from St. Mary's. Um, and what's lovely about it is that it introduces into a relatively straightforward landscape a lovely um, cubist type uh, treatment of the subject and wonderful colours. But the houses, which you can see, they're sort of painted in these blocks of colour um, and they dominate the central part of the composition. But he's also treated in a sort of a block-like way, the uh, the, the, the sky and also the foreground and then it's broken up with these angular uh, trees here um, colors are wonderful in this picture I just think it's an absolutely amazing work and it is estimated at five to eight thousand and it's a big picture it's 75 by 106 centimeters so it's a good uh, good size picture would dominate um, very nicely a um, you know a, a room and then finally <clears throat> Um, this lovely work by Harry Kernoff and it's St. Stephen's Green, Dublin, Summer. This is painted in watercolour and of course uh, Harry Kernoff is synonymous with uh, Dublin. Uh, he lived in Stamer Street just off the South Circular Road. So this view of a lovely summer scene in the gardens in Stephen's Green is not a million miles away from where he lived. So what's lovely about it is that you've got this uh, small toddler uh, playing on the grass and you've got all the sort of the scenes that you expect to see in St. Stephen's Green on a nice summer's day. There's the birds, there's the people sitting on the, uh, the benches, there's mothers with the um, prams with the children and just, just a generally lovely looking day in Dublin city centre. And it's one that um, we're currently missing um, because, of course, with self-isolation, we can't be gathering in numbers. Um, but uh, so hopefully soon that will be over. This picture is 25 by 31 centimetres and it is estimated at four to 6,000. So hopefully that will give um, somebody an indication of a range of works that perhaps a 60-year-old might like. Um, but there are tons of pictures that, um, you know, that... that perhaps would fit into that particular um, uh, requirement uh, for somebody turning 60. So hopefully you'll find something enjoyable in this catalogue.